In this week's edition of Pass the FE Exam, I will calculate future worth in an engineering economics problem. This is part of our Problems and Solution video series here at Pass the FE Exam. Before I start calculating, let me remind you that the FE Exam, or Fundamentals of Engineering, is the first step to getting your professional engineering license. And through the videos on this channel, including this one, you will learn not only how to properly prepare for the exam, but how to ensure that you pass the FE exam. Now, before I jump into today's problem, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel here as my weekly videos, including these problems and solutions videos, will help you pass the FE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments, I will answer them on future videos. All right, so let's jump right into our problem here on engineering economics. The problem is if $500 is invested at an annual rate of 8% per year, its future worth at the end of 30 years will be most nearly what? And you can see the four options there. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna to go to our FE handbook. Hopefully you have the latest version 10.01 or whatever it is at the time you're watching this video. In the handbook on page 230 starts the engineering economics section. The top of the page has all of the formulas that you can see here. But then on the bottom of the page, which is really important, are the nomenclature and definitions. And so you definitely want to read through this as part of your studying and preparation and be familiar with these terms. And of course, by doing practice problems like this one, you will get much more comfortable with them. So let's take a look at our practice problem again here. If $500 is invested in an annual interest rate of 8% per year, its future worth at the end of 30 years will be most nearly what? So what do we have here? First of all, we have $500 if it is invested today. So that's P or the present worth of the dollar of the amount that we have today. Then we have the interest rate of 8% per year, which is designated as I, your interest rate per interest period. Important to note that this is per year. This is where these problems can get tricky. They could say per month, and then that's gonna change your calculation, and I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute. And then it's future worth at the end of 30 years will most nearly be what? That 30 is N, or the number of compounding periods the expected life of an asset. All right, so we have P, N, and I. Now, let's go back to the top of that page in the handbook and take a look at the equations that are provided again. And we have, if, we're, if we know our nomenclature and our naming now, we know that we're asked for the future worth or F of a given amount or P, which is the $500 in our case. So this is definitely the, the, the row that we wanna focus on, right? We wanna be able to convert the present worth of a value to the future worth of a value. And we can use, of course, the formula given for that scenario. So that being said, let's just do this calculation right here. You'll see it to the side of the table here in a moment, but I wanna let you know, I'm gonna show you two ways to solve this problem. First, we'll go through the calculation, then I'll show you a much quicker way. So again, this is the formula we're gonna use. You see it here on the right, one plus I to the N power, so we already know that our interest rate is 8%, or I'm writing it as 0.08 there, and 30, the power is gonna be 30, which is the N that was given to us. When you perform that calculation, you receive 10.063, and that's your factor that you're gonna multiply the present value, the $500 by, so it's 500 times 10.063, and the future value is $5,031, which of course is answer C. Now, if we wanna look at a much quicker way to do this, and remember when you're dealing with the FE exam, time is a major factor. You may know how to do every problem, but if you can't do them quick enough, that could cause you to fail this exam. So we wanna think about our timing as well. So now let's go back to the handbook again. And on pages 233 to 237, you'll see the interest rate tables. And you can scroll to the top of 236, which is where you can find the I of 8%, which is our interest rate, right, 8%. And we know that we're dealing in the F to P column here, right? We're looking for the future worth from a present value. We also know that 
our n is 30 years, and that's your row for 30 years. And so if we hone in on that column in the blue oval there, you'll see that our factor is 10.0627. Sounds familiar, right? That's what we calculated using the equation that I just showed you previously. And so now you can just go to this table as soon as you read the problem, grab the factor, multiply it by 500, and you've got your answer of 5,031. So the key things to understand or take away from this video, hopefully, is that in terms of engineering economics, be really familiar with the nomenclature. That's very important. The other thing that's very important is the, the interest rate and understanding the timeline of that rate. This is an 8% per year rate. If they would have said 8% per month, that would have changed our calculation because that, that factor would have been different because now you've got, you're dealing with months instead of per year rate. Right, so that's a, a problem that we'll do on the channel as well later on. And just you know, remember to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be putting these out on a weekly basis, if not more frequently. But those are two things to be really, really keyed in on about engineering economics. Understand the different terms like future value, present value, and pay attention to that rate. And then you always want to use your shortcuts. So if there's tables provided, like the interest rate tables, you want to utilize them where you can. I hope you found this week's video helpful. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions like this one, weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you can't get anywhere else. Believe me, you won't want to miss a single video. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments, and I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a specific question or problem that you need answered. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week.